This is a short demo of the prototype Knowledge Exchange Framework dashboards produced by JISC Analytics Labs between May and October 2018. This demonstration has been released as part of Research England's Knowledge Exchange Framework consultation and should be viewed in conjunction with the consultation documentation. These particular dashboards focus on making key KEF measures more accessible so that institutions can understand, compare and improve their own performance. Research England will be further developing them for use by businesses and other users in the future. The dashboard use seven proposed perspectives, each of which represents an area of activity. The dashboards use clusters of similar research providers for benchmarking. Metrics are shown as decile performance within each perspective and cluster. Deciles have not been weighted. The following dashboards are proof of concept using anonymized data. The data sources used in the dashboards include HESA, Higher Education, Business and Community Interaction Survey, HESA Finance Record, HESA Student Record and HESA Staff Record. It should be noted that Research England's proposed use of narrative statements in two of the perspectives have not been incorporated into these dashboards. This element will follow after the consultation and pilot exercise have concluded. This integration may include marking metric results in the two perspectives of public and community engagement and local growth and regeneration as provisional. Now time for the demo. There are four dashboards in total. This dashboard is the high level provider overview. This dashboard gives an overview of your higher education provider against the seven proposed perspectives. We can select a provider using the filter in the top left of the screen. Below the filter is the description of the selected providers cluster. In the centre of the dashboard is the radar chart. There are seven points on the radar chart, one for each of the perspectives. Clicking on a perspective would take us through to the perspective level view, which I'll show you shortly. In the legend in the top right of the screen, we can see the filled shape on the chart represents the, the provider we have chosen. Whereas the dark line on the chart represents the provider's cluster. The radar chart allows us to see how the selected provider is performing against its cluster for each of the seven perspectives. The radar chart is divided into 10 equal shaded or unshaded segments. The segment nearest the middle of the chart represents the bottom 10%. Performance then increases through each segment to the outermost segment, which represents the top 10%. Where the filled shape falls outside the dark line, the provider is performing above the cluster average for that perspective. Where the filled shape falls inside the dark line, the provider is performing below the, its cluster average for that perspective. Changing the provider changes the, the data shown in the radar chart. For the University of STEM 3, we can see that they are below their cluster average on four perspectives. If we switch to the University of EO, we can see that they are very high on their local growth and regeneration and above the average for their cluster of large universities for that perspective. The second dashboard provides more information on the cluster for the selected provider. On the left of the screen, there is a list of all the higher education providers within this cluster. In the center of the dashboard, the radar chart from the previous dashboard is repeated. However, the filters below the radar chart allow us not only to change the selected provider, but to select a comparison prov provider. In the legend in the top right of the screen, we can see that the bright green line on the chart represents the comparison provider. If we select the University of Arts 4, 
as a comparison provider, we can see that they are much higher than our provider on public community and engagement, but lower on local growth and regeneration. Although do note that these perspectives will contain further narrative information in the final version. At the bottom of the dashboard, small radar charts are shown for every cluster which can be used as a comparison. The third dashboard shows a single perspective level view. At the top of the screen are three filters. On the left, we can select one of the seven perspectives. Here we selected the IP and commercialization perspective. In the middle, we can select our provider. And on the right, we can select a breakdown such as cluster, region, or mission group. Note that the filters of region and mission group are provided as examples only and are not an official feature of the CAF. Below the filters, the radar chart is repeated on the left for context. To the right of the radar chart, there is a narrative and summary of the radar chart, including our provider's position within the perspective and our cluster's position within the perspective. In the bottom section of the dashboard, we can see the metrics for our chosen perspective shown side by side for comparison. Each measure is shown in a column Below the metric title, the headlines for each column include our provider's data in bold green and the percentile position of our provider in bold grey. Below the headlines, there are bar charts showing three-year average for every higher education provider within the cluster. Our selected provider is highlighted in green and benchmark lines are shown to show the cluster average. In the leftmost column, we can see that our provider is ranked in the middle of the cluster for research resource per spin out, but still above the average for the cluster with, the th with a three year average over 10 million. On the right, the view metric detail button takes us through to the metric dashboard. The fourth and final dashboard drills down to a single metric level view. At the top of the screen, we can see four filters. We can now select a metric in addition to the perspective, provider, and breakdown. Here we've selected average external investment per spin out. The top row of charts includes a bar chart and a box and whisker chart for the selected metric. The chart shows the three year average for the selected provider highlighted against members of the same cluster. The bar chart shows the total values for each provider with the highest performers towards the right. And the box and whisker plot shows the spread of those same values. We can see that our selected provider is near the bottom of the cluster for this metric with an average external investment per spin out of 16,563 over three years. The bottom row of charts includes a line chart and a data table. The charts show a year by year breakdown for the selected provider highlighted against members of the same cluster. The line chart shows a three year trend for our provider compared to the cluster average. The data table shows the value for each year plus three year average for every provider in that cluster. We can see that our selected provider's average external investment per spin out decreased from 50,000 in 2015-16 to zero in 2016-17. This variation was hidden when using the three-year average.